I am, without a doubt, one of the most positive people that I know. <laughs> and I'm not bragging when I'm saying that. I, I just mean, seriously, uh, the challenges that I've gone through with addiction and bankruptcy and the loss of my parents in the last three years, uh, there's been so many struggles over the years, but I'm still optimistic as heck. But one of the things that really bothers me is this whole nonsense about how positive thinking can change a negative person's mindset. It's an absolute BS. It's not true. Positive thinking is not that, tr that strong. Now, if a miracle happens and you go, you know, I've been a negative thinker. I'm always talking Debbie Down, David Downer. I'm always looking for problems. I'm talking about conspiracy theories. I don't like the president and I don't like that president. And all. If, if we're super negative, and we're talking in those terms. How are we going to turn that around and to become positive? But I'll tell you this, positive thinking isn't going to change your belief systems. That's the problem. Most of our negative thinking comes from belief systems we accept it as true. The positive thinker has an ability to stand back from their reaction to things they don't agree with, that they're not happy about, and not take on the negativity. A positive thinker can do some great things, but they can't end negative thinking. And this is where I think the most important thing to remember is that the brain is powerful, but the subconscious mind is even more powerful than your conscious thinking, positive mindset. And what does that mean? So the subconscious mind is back here, I'll point, and here's the conscious mind. The conscious mind says, hey, I've had a bunch of negative thoughts, I'm gonna just start thinking positively, and I'm gonna work my way through it, I'm gonna white knuckle my way through it. Well, it might work for a couple days, a couple hours, maybe even a couple weeks, but eventually, if the negative thought process that you've taken on since childhood or high school or college or whenever has been solidified that deeply into the subconscious, the subconscious isn't gonna change just because you start saying positive affirmations Affirmations or reading positive books or whatever it might be. The positive side of the subconscious mind can only come out if you change your actions. Actions will change a negative mindset to a more positive one long term. Positive thinking may make you feel better in the moment, but it's not going to change your negative mindset long term. What needs to change are the people we hang out with, the shows we watch, the programs we listen to, how we take care of the temple, the body, if we eat, exercise, all of those things. This is where we get the positive mindset. It's from our actions, our choices, our lifestyle. It's not from the brain. The brain can be positive, but it's not so strong that it can outlive or overpower negative thinking for a very long period of time. It'll never happen. And I can prove it right now. If it was so true that all you had to do was think positively and insecurity, addiction, anger, frustration, rage uh, would go away, well, you would never, ever, ever have those emotions. You would never need a counselor like me. You would never need a therapist, a psychiatrist. You would never need a book on how to change your mindset. You would never need anything if it was that easy. If it was so easy just to be a positive thinker by positive thinking, the whole industry of personal growth would be gone. You would never have to think of anything. And this is my problem with the law of attraction and all those crap teachings. I mean, they're so simplistic in nature. Kindergartners believe in that stuff. But as an adult, oh, come on now. You're not gonna just think your way into a positive mindset. You're not gonna think your way into millions of dollars. You're not gonna think your way into recovery. You're gonna have to do action. If you need help and you want to eradicate, we have this four-step process that's so powerful to eradicate negative thoughts, to eradicate negative thinking, to eradicate a negative mindset, even if you've had it since childhood. We can help you. Go to talkdavid.com. We've got specials right now, a 50% decrease on the cost of working with me and one of our programs just because of inflation. We want to make sure people know you can still work with me from anywhere in the world at a very reasonable price. Go to talkdavid.com. Just look underneath coaching and general counseling and you'll see the, the special there. But let's really work it. Let's use the steps that we know are available that will change a negative mindset into a long-term positive one. And don't forget, there's four books at the site, absolutely free, thousands of videos, thousands of blogs, everything's at talkdavid.com. You've tuned in to David Essel Live right here on buzzsprout.com. Go to Buzzsprout, Google David Essel. You'll find thousands of hours of video on the podcast. I'm David Essel. Have a beautiful day.